In this video, I want to show you how to build a spin button. Uh, a spin button is going to be uh, arrows on your spreadsheet that make a cell go up or down. Now, in order to use this feature, I have to make sure the developer menu is on. So some of you might already have your developer menu on up top. Let me show you how to turn it on if it's not on. We'll pick on the file menu up top, file, and then we'll pick on the word options, file, options. Within the options, you're going to come over here and you pick on the word customize ribbon. And then you pick on the word developer right there. Make sure it's checked. So I picked on file and then options. Over here, I picked on customize ribbon. And then I picked on the word developer, so it is checked like that. I'll click on OK. Notice now we have your developer menu. So I'll pick on the word developer. Now to turn on the spin button, we're going to come over here and pick on the word insert right on the toolbar right there. These are called controls, everybody. So in other videos, I'll show you some of these other controls, but I'm going to use this one right over here. When I move the mouse there, it says spin button. A spin button is going to be those arrows to make a cell go up or down. So I'm going to click that. Now you move your mouse to where you want that to appear. So I'm going to go ahead and click right next to that 30. Now, for some reason, it makes the spin button really gigantic like that. I'm not really sure why. So you would just resize that. I'm going to go ahead and get the sizing handle and just drag it in. Good. And then I would even maybe move that right next to that. Good. So at this point, um, you have to do some more things with that. You want to right click on that spin button, right click. And then you pick on the word format control. All right. Uh, then we have this window, and you make sure you're on the Control tab. For the minimum, I'll type in 10. For the maximum, I'll type in 40. For the increment change, I'll type in 5. Now, the really important one is the cell link. That means what cell is going to be affected by the spin button. So now you can either click on that cell, or you can just type it in. So I'll click where it says Cell Link, and I'll pick on Cell b4 i could have also typed in just b4 so the minimum value is 10 the maximum value is 40 the incremental change is 5 and the cell link is b4 i'm going to go ahead and click on ok the way i got to that screen was i right clicked on that spin button and then i picked on the word format control by the way if you right click on it and you get this weird menu uh you're going to get that when you hold down your right mouse button uh, a little bit too long. So just right click on that really quickly. Then you should see the main menu. And then from there, I picked on format control. All right. Uh, and you can see the choices that I have. I'm going to click on OK. Now just click away from it. Click over here somewhere. Now let's, let's try the up arrow. Notice how that's making B4 go up by five years. And by the way, that's also changing the monthly payment because in this case, the monthly payment has a formula that points back to cell B4. So when B4 changes, the monthly payment in this case will also uh, change. Notice how it's going up by five years. Now notice how it stops at 40 because I made that the maximum, if you recall. Now, if I hit the down arrow, it's going to go down by five years and it's going to stop at 10 because I made that the minimum. So watch how we did that again. First of all, we turned on the developer menu under a file options. On your development menu, I picked on the word insert. And then I picked on this guy over here. It's called a spin button. Uh, then I'm going to click here. And I'm going to go ahead and make it smaller, of course. And when the button looks like that, I can even move it. I can drag it over here. Okay. Then I'll right click on that and I'll pick on format control. This time for the minimum, I'll type in uh, 10 and then uh, 50 by increments of 10, for example. And for the cell link, I'll just type in B4. Or I could have clicked on that cell, of course. Click on OK. Now, I just clicked away from that. And then I'll click on these arrows. Notice how B4 is now going up by 10 years. And it's going to stop at 50 because I made 50 the maximum that time. And the down arrow, of course, will make it go down by 10 years. So that is what we call a spin button in Microsoft Excel. It really enhances uh, your data entry. 
and most people will know how to use that once they see that.